Okay, we've reached uh, the end of this, I think. From a Steam achievement perspective, at the very least. So I just need to play as the Queen, which should be fun. Evolve her weapon as well. Anyway. Welcome to the stream, hope you're enjoying. Let's go. We'll do bat. I wanna, I wanna do bat. Bats are fun. Oh, we did inverse by accident. I mean, sure, it doesn't matter. These are rerolls. I think we definitely want that. In the interest of getting that done, right? Flames of mist spells emits cones of flames. Oh. Oh, wow. These items are cool. <laughs> we'll go with the celebration items. Why not? I mean, I need to get the number of things that I kill as high as I can. I don't know if Bat County is going to do it, but we'll see. It was there. Hang on. It's the one.
Okay, I can't just run through this. I think visually this looks cool. I think I should do that. Okay. Just so it earning quick off. A little bit of an investment. That there. Just in case it's the one and only chest I got. Got the big slashes.
Where is that? Really doesn't want to give me it. The odds of it appearing seem to have lowered. Okay, let's just... There it is. Hey, Seth, what's up? How's it going? How's things? Thanks. How about me? Doing alright, just kicking back. It's Sunday. Had a bit of a lazy day. Just trying to put an end to this. I'm working on my last Steam achievement for this. Bricks hurt. Oh, my God. <laughs> the weapons is going nuts. Okay. I need to keep leveling the brick. You know what? Let's just see what happens. Okay. Has to be max brick. Might have to start just picking stuff just so it reduces the options. Okay, I'll, I'll start doing that. Oh, that looks cool. to get to a hundred thousand kills with this character. Holy crap. <laughs> this illusion thing is awesome.
I mean, this is the final character, so... She's supposed to be crazy. Okay, it didn't evolve. Why? Is there another condition I need to meet? Okay, hang on. Uh, where is she? Queen Sigma. Starts with the Victory Sword. I may have messed it up. We'll see. Based on the description I'm reading, I'm supposed to have an empty slot, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. The illusion thing is so cool. It just has such a low cooldown for her. Such a breath there compared to what I was doing the past week, practically. A challenge involving one of the worst characters in the game. Time is just not going down. Okay, now it's going down. Look at it! What is that? The, s the more enemies the defeated, the stronger it gets. Oh. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I, I I can't tell anymore. That's just numbers. I've I've only hit fifty thousand. I need to get to a hundred thousand. <laughs> More explosions, I guess. I think I just need to make them happen sooner. Well, I mean, these are gonna explode now. My illusion, so... I am indeed fulfilling that. There it is. I got it. The more enemies defeated, the stronger it grows. Oh, what does that sound? Whoa! Holy shit. Is it right? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, reality is, has been broken. Oh my god! Okay, this is, this is insane. Eighty K, okay. You know, I, th I think I may have messed up because I have it on endless mode and endless mode might not count. But... If it doesn't end at 20 minutes, then yeah, I've, I gotta do it on normal, which is fine, I think I can do it.
Jeez, these effects are so insane. I'm not gaining any more experience. Oh, there we go. 4,000 to go. Okay, when I'm in this form, it means nothing can harm me. And then I reappear from the void and everything dies. Okay, there's a hundred thousand now. It hasn't ended, so I'm thinking this is endless mode. Yeah, look, I can't, I can't interact with the real world. It hasn't ended, so hang on. I think it's because it's on endless. Okay. No, that's there. Achieve. There it is. It's done. That's the game officially 100%, I think. Let me just check. Pretty positive. <laughs> That's it. I have achieved all achievements. How many of them were there? 162 achievements. <laughs> but I feel like I feel like that didn't count because it was on endless. There's some interesting characters with these new ones that I just got. Okay. Um, let's do Moonspell. Oh wait, there's more. A space between spaces, or the culmination of something. Tag, you're it. Huh. Okay. Um. Let's get rid of Inverse and Endless. Well, I guess we could do Inverse like this with this character. What? I think it's it's this fight again, but I don't know if there's anything new to it. Let's see. the sword.
I mean, visually, this is a cool fight. What is happening? It really wants me to take the crown? Seems to be hell bent on me taking the crown. Fine, I'll take the crown just to shut it up. <laughs> Seems to be pretty set on what it gives you for the first option. Almost to the point where it's fixed. Playing Lost Stock with your brother, how is that? I heard a lot of people gave up on that game because later it, it became very pay to win. This might be set in stone that I'm supposed to die here. Yeah, no, that, that almost seems very intentional. Gameplay is fun, there's a lot of grind. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, you, uh, from what I've heard, it doesn't, it doesn't make itself apparent right away that it's pay to win. It happens later. I checked out Diablo 4's uh, beta this weekend just to see how much it had changed. But this time I ran Barb and it was fun.
You wouldn't say pay to win is pay to progress quicker, but isn't that pay to win? Really? It's just kind of splitting hairs. Because the interest is in the late game dungeons and stuff, and to get to that point sooner, it's like, someone worked out how long it would take if you don't spend the penny for some of the other stuff. I just remember reading that it was just very disheartening. I don't know. The thing is, I'm always worried about games like that because you can say you haven't spent a penny and that's fine, but fundamentally that game has taken concessions to make sure that it's annoying enough that some people will ultimately end up paying and I just don't fundamentally like that. So that's my opinion on it, but it doesn't stop you from having a good time. It's just... I hate it when games do that these days. Give Beam Sword. It's not giving Beam Sword. Alright, let's just make you move quicker. I don't know, the only analogy I can come up with is like, you know, there are, there are a lot of things in life where if you don't go down the extreme route, like gambling or like consumption of extreme fatty foods or alcohol, that you'll generally be fine. But fundamentally, it's like, it's not good for you. And I guess you just pick and choose at the end of the day. But most of those things, there is an underlying evil to it. I think with games, I'm just a bit more strict, just because I come from a more purist belief that, uh, Games just shouldn't be like that, because they never used to be. <laughs> it's just the last 15 or so years that they've just been heading in that direction. Anyway. I do like it. <laughs> you can make him go backwards. There we go. Now it's forward. This is a great credit screen. <laughs> I love this credit screen. You grew up when you bought a game, you bought- you got the game. Yeah, exactly. And if there was new content to be had, it was just- I mean, sure you had to pay for it, but it was- It was always- the- The systems within the game they let you do what you needed to do, and there was never... With those games, it's always a case of, okay, this is what we want the player to do. That's the initial discussion. And then afterwards, it's like, okay, now what can we do to this so then people spend money? What can we do to slow down progression? What can we do to, like, incentivize the player to purchase conveniences? Like, it's just disgusting. So, you know, I tried Lost Ark. It's definitely fun. But the moment I saw it, it skewed towards that, I, I stopped playing it. That's just how I am. I'm pretty black and white about it.
How is D4? Um, well, I think the game's going to be fun. I think it's going to be a good play. It's just the ultimate question for me is, are they going to get it done on time? Because it releases in June. And what that really means is whatever, you know, because this is coming out on, on PlayStation consoles, right? They have to send something to get printed on the disc. So that's going to happen realistically next month. And I don't know. That's that's the one concern I have is just, is it going to be done in time? So, I mean, so far what I've seen, the characters, even when I played it, like last year, right? When we weren't allowed to talk about it. We are now, for the record. <laughs> um... The characters were all working, they were all correct, they felt right, um, and it was fun. And they've expanded on that in this public beta, so... I can see myself enjoying it, I just don't think it's what I thought it was going to be. The best way I can describe it is like... It's not quite a Diablo 2, it's not quite a Path of Exile, I would say it's... It's like a better version of Diablo 3. But then it has MMO aspects. That's that's how I would I would describe this game. It's much it's slowed down a lot, so the pacing is not like Diablo 3 where you're just blazing through dungeons, right? It's not like that at all. So it doesn't get to that point where power seems inconsequential, right? And it's just beams of light everywhere. That's not it. I think the loot system definitely feels more akin to um an older Diablo game. Right? But I... The, you can definitely see the D3 influences. Um, but they're better versions of it. So that's how I would describe it currently. The campaign and visuals and all that, they're excellent. Like, it's not like anything you've seen in a... In a game from this genre. I think the, the cutscenes and all that, they're excellent. Um, but, yeah, I guess we'll see. I want to play more of her. Kind of prefer that because he comes from Grimdon. No, I got, I got that. So we'll see how it ends up, um, the game will have a battle pass system, but it's all going to be tailored around cosmetics, and one thing they've done in this is your character is definitely going to look good. Like, that's without question. I guess we'll see. It just depends what they do with the, uh, the seasons or the ladders or whatever they're gonna call it. Yeah, the world events are pretty fun. I had my reservations about it because it felt a little bit too much like an MMO, but... I think the way it does instancing is pretty smart. You, you can walk around the world and do your own thing, but then, you know, and a, you run into like a... Almost the equivalent of what a Diablo 3 bounty used to be, but except it's kind of just, it happens dynamically. Um, you'll start doing it, and then someone who's in the area will get presented with that instance, so then they kind of join in on it. So you don't even need to invite someone to a party to do bounties or anything like that. I mean, you can, but as a solo player, you can kind of just run around and you'll get people jumping in and making it so you both get through that content a little quicker, so... 
I had my reservations about that initially, but it, it's not. It's not bad. The one downside is basically you can't do solo self down in this. It's impossible as a result. And the only other thing that I've heard complaints about that I think is valid, some of the other complaints are just like, literally, oh, this isn't Diablo 2, or this isn't Path of Exile. That's what the complaints are. So, putting that aside, um, because it's an open world, enemies scale, so I guess you're always feeling on the back foot. Uh, unless you're constantly swapping out your, your gear as you level up, you can fall behind and things get really difficult. So I don't know if that makes gear feel a bit pointless at the start, but I mean later on that's a different story. But when something's open well it's kind of hard to, to do it any other way, so I mean I don't know how they would fix that. Wait, so... Oh, it's a curse bar as well. Both of them evolve off the curse bar. That's interesting. I think default will be just wait and see how its launch week goes. There's obviously going to be server issues, there's, there's no avoiding that. But I think more in terms of just the general feel around it. Big sword. I'm gonna make these effects even more crazier than last time. Avert your eyes if you're photosensitive. I think what, what'll happen is Diablo 4 is going to be one of those things where it's either going to be extremely successful and then any game that comes out of it is going to have a hard time or it's going to buy more time for like the other games that are in development in the genre. This is where it becomes a cannon, basically. Is this character OP? Yes, but this is the reward. You get after, uh... Man. Had to really fight to get to this point. Got active in his manner to keep their grubby little hands on the devs work. 
I don't think that's going to be the case, but however, I think they've learnt their lesson a little. They've been humbled just a little bit, not completely. At the end of the day, it's still a live service game and, you know, it's still not ideal. I just, I don't know. But for me, the genre, there's just nostalgia to it, so that's why uh, I overlook it more. I don't think it's being hypocritical, I just, it's just hu human nature at the end of the day is like, you can't be hardline, at least in my opinion. Because if you go by the whole thing where, if you go with being black and white, and only enjoying things that are ethical, there's no such thing as ethical consumption in capitalism. <laughs> At some point, like, you're gonna be giving money to something that might not be doing things in, like, the most ideal manner, or at least something that you... that aligns with your morals or beliefs. As long as you're consistent on average, I think it's fine. I don't really play many live service games. I don't do mobile games or anything that, you know, it's obvious that they've done monetization in a way that's just designed to get whales, basically. Diablo 4 certainly has, like, with its cosmetics, probably, you know, a way that it's designed for whales, ultimately. But I overlook it just because it's something that I enjoy from a content perspective. And it's not as egregious as some of the other stuff out there, so... I don't know. Only human chat. Ooh, candy box. Okay, this is what I was looking for. I would like to make this insane visually. So we're gonna do that. Well, you meant more, it's not just a, another better version of Diablo Immortal. Oh, no, it, def it most definitely is not. I mean, if, if, you're, if you're curious, I can boot it up. Like, the, the bait is still there. And honestly, I think I'm done with Vampire Survivors. <laughs> I might do a run with Toasty just for shits and giggles, but... I mean, if you're genuinely curious on it... I can give my thoughts on that, like... Contextually put. You've been trying to stay away from the gameplay so you can see it fresh. No, that's fair. The game is nice looking, it plays well. The classes feel good, cutscenes are great, it's just, will they get it done on time? That's the question, and then after it launches, how are the seasons and all that stuff going to work? Because I don't want it to be more like Diablo 3 in that regard, and I'm kind of worried it might be, but we'll see. Get to a hundred thousand kills within the time span, and I'll be all right. What's my final passive gonna be, anyway? think. <laughs> I guess duplicator. <laughs> More projectiles, why not? More fireworks. Enables finisher. Alright, here we go. There it is. Now we got the, the light show going. I 
that's the last one I want. Alright. So this is just sparkles and visuals. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think what I what I want from D4 is just kind of it's a bit of a nostalgia thing for me. But when I played Diablo 3 back in the day, every night be able to get a group of people to be able to play. You know, it's pretty easy to just pick up the game and drop it whenever. So it kind of fulfills that where a bunch of people are playing it and I can jump into games and hey, that's great. Trying to make sure I haven't dropped any chests. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I love this game for just how much of a visual mess that it comes. I'm surprised no chests have appeared. Also, it's barely 10 minutes in and I already have about 50,000 kills. Yeah, this stage is the best for any of the kill streak challenges. Okay, now it becomes even nicer looking. Alright, always coin bag. More fireworks. See how long I can keep it up for. Just have to keep checking that uh, the chests are accounted for. This feels like I'm playing a bonus stage in Mario right now. Just running through getting the coins. Not a care in the world.
All right, back to the middle. Okay, so this is the better stage to do the, the kill thing. Already at 75,000. And it's not even... Are you kidding me? A gift? I can pick on the... Ugh, what would make this look visually... more insane? <laughs> I, I, it can't be the bird. Because the bird will, uh, no, yeah, this, this. Clones, clones. I have my clones now. Now I am phasing. Oh, that looks cool. <laughs> the cooldown for her clones is so ridiculously low. This is with curse as well. Two curses. I'll introduce a third curse. I've kept up the gold streak thing for two whole minutes. Okay, there's the upgraded fire. Making sure I don't accidentally run past it. There we go. Okay. Two more curses coming in. We'll see how much more insane this gets. Where's the ring? When this evolves, it's just gonna look visually insane. The illusions. <laughs> that level nine? Okay, grab it. Okay, there we go. All right. <laughs> Time for the universe to collapse. It's it's very hypnotic <laughs> if you look into the middle. I don't know how the bitrate looks on this, but if you stare into the middle. Especially right here.
Oh man, <laughs> I cannot see my character anymore. This gold bonus has been going for five minutes, non-stop. Okay. Where's, where, where's chest? Chest is apparently directly on top of me somewhere. There. Okay, and now we have the cloak. Still not done. Okay, now this is where I say if you're photosensitive, please avoid. As this is about to, uh... <laughs> yeah. A hundred and fifty thousand kills. I would say this is a worthy finale for this. I can't believe just how much money this is gonna give. And this is one of these things that's just infinitely scaling, is the more I kill, the stronger it gets. At some point, a crab will attack. Okay, that, that soldier thing just got blown away. I don't even know where it went. Well, there definitely seems to be <laughs> the logical conclusion. I mean, do I want to be stubborn and go through every single character and do every single stage? I don't know. I'll leave it up to people that watch the VODs later. If you are really that interested, let me know. Comments, all that stuff. But, uh, man, I... I can't believe I, I did all the same achievements. <laughs> when I picked up this game, I, I didn't think I would play it that much. I thought it was going to be... Oh, you know, I play it a few times and then I'd be done with it, but... I don't know, there's just, there's just something about this one. At this point, I'm just a dot in the middle of the screen, and nothing else.
Just this black hole of money. I feel like at this point, you should be able to be allowed to take out that other Reaper that appears at the end, you know? Oh, the gold fever's gonna run out. No. Okay, not as high as the previous one. Where is crab? I can still get more items, that's the thing. Like, if I got a candy box, this just continues. There into the middle. We're nearly there. No biggie, just over 200,000 kills. Kind of curious how this looks. Whoa, lag. <laughs> kind of, kind of awesome in slow motion. I just tabbed out a bit and then it lagged. I'm kind of curious what my final level is going to be. I killed the frame rate and everything else. I can do it on purpose. Like, there you go. Look, look at this now. The left is just click off screen and then that happens. But now you can look at it. Look at how beautiful it is. We can kind of admire it. Just appreciate everything that's going on on an individual level. Look at that. Watch it, watch it happen, watch it happen. Come on, that's really nice looking. I'm clicking back on it.
I'm kind of hoping to get one more bonus weapon, not gonna lie. If it gives me the, the box. Can I hit 300,000 before the time is up? Because now the enemies are getting tankier. They're up to the, the, uh, the golems. At some point, there's supposed to be a giant crab, but I feel like the giant crab just died instantly. The dragons don't even... I just saw traces of a dragon there. They didn't even appear fully. Okay, two minutes. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to make it to 300,000 kills. The enemies are tankier, so they're taking a while to kill. Compared to instant death before, this is, I mean, almost instant. We'll see what happens when the Reaper appears on screen. Okay, yeah, I mean, at this point, they're not dying instantly. Alright. We are at the end. Officially. We're about a level 458, 459. Okay. Three, two, one, run over. Oh my god.
I thought that was going to be more instant than what it was. I thought that was going to be way more instant. <laughs> there we go. Alright, this is indeed the end chat. No matter how... how much I become the center of the universe, the Reaper eventually comes for us all, I guess is the metaphor. Feels, it feels so weird, just not having sound in my ears anymore, like, it, it just... There we go. Oh, you know, no, no biggie. Overflow of text, that's fine. Okay, I'm, I'm curious about something. Just a curiosity. This character can pick the victory sword. Can just straight up pick the victory sword. So we can make this character as strong as the other one. I guess I don't get the same comfort. But okay. That's interesting. I don't know if I'll see this through to the end, but... This character is not invincible. Yeah, you don't get the same properties as the Queen. I don't get to be untouchable here. But I mean, this would be cool either way. Alright. I was just curious if this was available in the pool of items, or if it was just the queen, but... No, it is definitely available. Also, hey, Sandy. Yeah, you're, rec you're recital tomorrow, I got some sleep. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate you being here, but sleep... I'll do the same thing as last time. I just want to see how good this item is. Outside of the context of the queen. Yeah, 
Get it now. Sure. That was my weekend. That's all right. Just lazy Sunday. Catching up on watching a few things. There's the big sword. your recital. <laughs> I mean, even if it was within range, like, it's at a church, right? I feel like I would burst into flames. Chess. That's not cool. Oh shit, I should have taken that. Uh, okay, that's fine. Wait, I missed that. What? The music of singing is not 100% Jesus friendly. The text is super suggestive if you read it right. I mean, isn't every single song, at least when it comes to pop music, is like, 
generally about sex or what's the other one? There's two themes that it's just, it's always been a thing. I know one of them's sex, I forget what the other one is. It doesn't matter. Missing the bussy. I don't know what that is, but I hate that it ends in bussy. I don't care. You can call me old all you want. <laughs> I am what I am. I mean, I've said this before, even as a teenager, I was old. The boosty, whatever. I don't, I don't, I don't care for the correction. The boosty. Seems to be getting tougher. Alright, so this, I mean, the sword isn't an insta win. It's very good. This character's faster. Yeah, I mean, every character's faster. <laughs> that other character is just bad, but I got it done. I'm technically done with the game. I'm just testing the weapon that I got as a reward for finishing everything. The final character is just. I guess it, it makes sense. She's insanely overpowered. Like, there's no challenge in it. She'll just wreck shit no matter what. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Let me relate to you, old man. But I feel like, in that regard, like, you're less of an old person than me. Like, you at least... no. Well, not no, but, like, consume media that is associated with the younger generation of kids. See, that makes me sound old, doesn't it? But I guess I never, even in my own day, I never did. I stayed away from MySpace, I stayed away from Facebook. Oh, reality TV shows. At least the trashy ones, not the ones where it's... they make something. I'm talking about the ones where it's just like, I don't know. Off the top of my head, like 16 and Pregnant, that was definitely something I would never want to watch. Oh, okay, just destroyed the treasure, cool. Probably associated with luck stat. Anyway, build done. Okay, up we go.
I'm having to pay more attention than I thought I would have to. Dragon shrimp, dragon shrimp. Oh, yeah, I, I saw it. The moment I said it, I saw it. Okay, now nah, I don't have to worry about stuff getting accidentally destroyed. Definitely nowhere near the insta win I thought this item would be. Okay, I got some distance to travel. for a gift. Um, I'm trying to think what it should be. I mean, I guess in the interest of, like, you know, the, the fireworks... Off the slave. All right, Sandy. See ya. Okay. Now there's no stress. But I wouldn't say that this is because of the, the sword that this is happening. This is just because I got this upgraded item that has a lot of AoE. that okay uh I feel like I shouldn't go always at least not yet
Hey, all right, there we go. Game, please. Okay, hang on. I should go back. Okay. Avert your eyes if you don't like flashing lights. Or if you like, uh the fabric of the universe itself being torn apart. Back the circle. So, I mean, the weapon is cool, it's just not as broken as I thought it would be. It's still definitely the strongest, just takes a while. Alright, this thing's done, so now I can keep moving. Like the fact that I'm losing health, but should indicate, hmm, it's not as OP as I thought it would be.
look into the middle. Uh, I mean, I'm not dying, so I think it's fine. Alright. I just decided to auto-level. How much left? Jeez, it's still a while before I reach the bottom. The increased duration thing is coming up. There's a chest. How far back? Okay. I got it. Watch it instantly pretty much max out. Okay, this combo is stupid because the Laurel charges just reset every time you get pulled into that area. I don't know how else you would describe it.
Now we just work on the rest of the build. I mean, at this point, I may as well finish the ring. So that, that can hurt your eyes even more. Okay. <laughs> now definitely avert your eyes. Just in time. All right. That's it. If I get any bonus items, I'll be happy. So mesmerizing, especially if I do it like this, like if I go in a circle. Item.
Oh man. <laughs> so many. Ah, oh, the flashing lights. Level 200 will be nice, but I don't think I'm reaching it. It's over. Get him. I love the visuals here. Yeah. Alright. Well, I think that's game officially done for now. I mean, when you have that go off, yeah. look into the middle. <laughs> so instant, no matter what. Okay. It was fun. But I think that's everything now, right? Collection 146 out of 146. Secrets, all done. Unlocks, all done. And this, all done. I'm pretty sure I have every character unlocked, let's just double check. Yeah. Alright, that's it. <laughs> I mean, if I want to really, truly clear this, which is like, do every stage of every character. I would have been up for that, except for the part where I got to this character, where it's like, okay, so one one hit, insta-kill. That demotivated me quite a bit. <laughs> it's going to get to the point where, let's face it, it's going to be these two ghosts that I, I will struggle with. Although, this one's pretty bad too, 9 HP. The ghosts. This is going to be the ghosts, ultimately. But I'll leave it here for now. I mean, if this game does get updated in future, of course, I'll check more of it out. Or if I, there's a high enough demand for me to want to do more of this, then I shall continue it. I don't know in what form, but hey, I'll leave that up to you, the viewer, later on the VODs channel. So if you're interested in that, just be sure to leave me a comment or something. But that'll do it for Vampire Survivors for now. And... I'll come back to it if there's more content added or, I don't know, maybe I'm feeling it. This might be the last you'll see of this, I'm sure. <laughs>